Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the one hand mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Working on a John Deere D140 today, and what I'm going to do is show you how to take out the mower, take off the mower deck. This is actually a 48 inch mower deck. I'm pretty sure the D140s all came with the 48 inch. Uh, this also has an electric PTO, which means that we have to take the spring tension off the belt before we take the belt off the mower deck. And I want to show you a couple tools that you need. A pair of needle nose pliers right here. And I'm, I'm going to use a 15 millimeter with a 3 8 ratchet to make it a little bit easier to take the belt off. First thing you want to do is, uh, if you can, remember to do this on either asphalt or concrete. Because it would actually help you slide the mower deck a out a little bit easier. And I use a couple knee pads so I don't kill my knees when I'm doing this. You want to put the mower deck down. This is the mower deck height adjuster right here. You want to put it all the way down the lowest position you can put it. And then we're down to getting the belt off. Now I'm going to start on the left hand side here. To get the mower deck PTO belt off, which is this right here, it's actually spring loaded. And an easy way of doing it, you can just roll this right off the front of the pulley um, if you don't have the strength to do that. Now this is a very, a very uh, spongy, as I call it, spongy belt tension. It's not, it's not bad at all. It's actually pretty nice and it's pretty easy to take it off the front. But if you want to, you can use your 15 millimeter wrench put it on the back pulley which is spring loaded okay so you can see that spring tension on there and if you just gently pull it forward okay now me being one-handed i'm gonna just hold it here like that i just put just puts the less belt tension right here it's really loose right here now so if you just hold it and just push the spring tension in a little bit it won't actually if you're doing anything you're going to tighten the nut it's actually going in the clockwise direction so if anything happens it'll tighten the nut but it's tight and it's not hurting anything right now and it'll just drop down just like that and then just remember when you let it go, just don't let it fly. Just let it smoothly go back, and there it is, pretty easy. Then I'm gonna take off the front hanger first, which is here. And I've showed you guys in the past these butterfly clips. They're really nice clips, they actually work very well. You don't wanna lose them. And then you have a washer, and then the rod that holds the mower deck on. You wanna make sure that when you take this out, that you actually take it off of your front hanger of the, on the machine. And the reason being, if you leave this on, you can actually jackknife your jack tractor and bend this rod very easily. So I would definitely take it out. It's like a little puzzle on this one because these are so bent up. Like they're just from the factory. That's the way they look. Um, just take it off your tractor. It'll just make it easier as far as driving a tractor around with your deck off to the side. And then we have a couple hangers in the back. We have one here. And then okay, we'll, so we're going to take the hanger, this first hanger off here, okay? And the way these pins are showing is the correct way. I like to have these pins showing backwards. And that the reason being, if you're moving forward and this pin gets hit, it'll actually push it on. If you have the pin the other direction, it will actually push it off and you can lose the pin and it can drop down. So when you put it back together again, just have it this direction. That's just my opinion. I like to put them on that way. And then you have the washer here. It's uh, These washers normally don't last too long. Usually people lose these washers. Um, so just make sure you, when you take it off that you don't lose it and then you just drop the handle up the arm down okay so now we're going to go back to this one here all right and we're just going to take this pin off i usually can do these by hand pretty easy on that one big pin big washer and just jiggle these around to make sure there's no tension on these if there's tension on these you might have to pick up the back end of the mower deck a little bit to leave the tension off of this thing um, but that, that's the reason why you also put the deck lever all the way the deck adjust, adjustment lever all the way down um, but this is loose so it'll come right off Okay, so you take it off, flip it 90 degrees, and it will pull out of its spot right here. All right, and just make sure that this guy here is facing the rear like it's supposed to, and then put it up out of the way. Go around to the other side. And we have two more. We have this arm here that has to come off. Pull the pin out. Take the washer off and down. I'm gonna do it at the same time here, so the washer's in my hand now, and that bar comes down. And then you get to the back. And this one here is, I call it upside down, but it really isn't. You can do these either way. Just pull this out. Take the washer off. Now see if it's loose. This one is a little snug. So what I'm gonna do is lift up on the back of the mower deck a little bit, and then it allows me to take this off. And then 90 degrees, pull this, actually, pull this out. Now some of them get a little bit, they get the aluminum right here, will actually get really worn out. And that's from a lot of use. And also if you're running the mower deck on its wheels, which isn't good to do. Um, but this one here has a little bit, little edges on it. And sometimes they're, they, they're hard to come out of their holes right here. So just be aware of that. Some of them get hard. And once they get to a certain point, you may have to replace them. 
but this one's okay. We'll actually smooth this out a little bit before I put it on because it's a little tricky getting out. So once you do that, then pretty much I can usually, I usually put the motor deck height adjuster up, but since we took the, the, the hangers off, we should be able to just pull this straight out now. And that pretty much gets your Edge 48 inch deck off of a D140 John Deere. Okay, so now we have the deck off and we have to, uh, we're gonna show you how to put the belt Check it out online before you purchase the belt. I'm not saying that this is the exact same belt for every uh, 48 inch, uh, you know, it's a 48 inch edge deck. So I got this belt correctly for this mower deck. Always double check with your, with the John Deere dealer. We have a 15 millimeter socket here. And if you want, you can use the, the 3 8 ratchet with a 3 8 extension or just use the deep socket, whatever you use. I use my electric ratchet that helps me out a lot. First thing we have to do is take off the covers. And they are 10 millimeter. We're gonna take one off. Just remember, you can lose these bolts if you're not careful. The reason why I said about the belt is that some of these decks through the years, they have changed and some of them have more pulleys and some of them have left pulleys. You just gotta make sure you're getting the right one. Now, what we have to do here is we do have to get this pulley loose. We also have to take this guard off of here. We have to get this pulley loose and we have to get this pulley loose. Now, the reason why I say pulley loose is because you don't necessarily have to take them off. You just have to, you have to pick them up so they get out of this guide so you can get the belt in and out. So that would be a 15 millimeter socket. I'm gonna use my, uh, see if I can break them loop with my electric ratchet. And we're gonna start with this guy. And the problem is sometimes these things get stuck. Okay, now this one came off pretty good and as you can see it pops right up. Now I'm not gonna take all this off yet until we get all these loose so I can remember how the belt goes. A lot of these uh, decks will have the, have a uh, picture of this and it's actually good to put take a picture of these the way they're set up before you take them out. see if I can get that see that should be enough for this one I'm gonna leave it there and do this one here just get them loose enough so you can get these guys to come up and just enough to get the belt out all right and then we have to take off this guide here and that's gonna be a 10 millimeter socket to get off and I use an extension 10 millimeter here and a 10 millimeter here. You may be able to loosen up one side and just turn it the other side. So I'm gonna take this one out, maybe. There's a little bit of rust on that. You can tell just by the way it's sounding. You gotta, these are tough getting out sometimes. So what you can do is you can move this out of the way, just like that. And that's just enough that we can get up. Now, as far as taking a good picture of that, I'm probably gonna need a picture just to remember where that's all going. You get your new belt out. I'm going to get the belt. You always want to make sure that you check the belt size as far as the one you're putting back on so you don't make a mistake putting the wrong belt on. I'm going to lay mine down on the ground. Then I'm going to take this one out. I'm looping from everywhere. I'm just try to remember to remember where it all goes. And then I'm going to lay this down on the ground next to it and try to get it to line up. A little tough i'm gonna put my foot down here this is a really long belt i think this belt is like 147 inches and it's really close so i'm going to say yes i got the right belt then we're going to put the new belt on try to remember how it was if i don't do it fast enough i definitely will forget okay so we got to come through here through here come around here like this i'm not sure if that one goes through that uh this one goes like this, how do we got this here? This one's gonna be like this. And we're gonna go flat belt here. Like that. This is gonna go under this. Like this guy goes here. This guy's gonna go here. And pretty much that goes out to your engine. So that should be it. And then you have to make sure that you get everybody back down to where you're supposed to be. Put the I'm gonna start with a 10 millimeter. The last one I took off, I'm gonna put this guy on. And you can put a little bit of lube on these screws if you think you're gonna be doing it. Usually these belts last a long time, but it all depends on how you're treating the mower. I can't do 
can tell you this, um, if you keep sharp blades, it will treat these belts a lot easier, a lot nicer because cutting with sharp blades is like uh, cutting steak with a really good knife. You just, uh, it'll go right through it. Just like if you're cutting with a dull knife, it's not gonna cut very well. So sharp blades, definitely a must. Obviously, it's going to take a lot longer with manual tools, but I do this all the time, and that's why I use the electric ratchet. And make sure, now these covers, just so you know, these covers, if you turn them upside down, you're going to see a guide here and a guide here, and they're imprinted into it. Now, sometimes these things get really worn out, but you have to make sure when you put the belt over here that you make sure the belt stays on. So when you put the belt cover over it, it's actually using it like a guide. So it's important to keep these on if you want to keep the belt on. I know a lot of people tend to get rid of these uh, these uh, guy, or the belt covers because it accumulates a lot of dirt and debris inside, but these covers are there to help keep you from one, hurting your foot if you get stuck in there, but it's also there to as a guide for the belt. So you wanna have these covers on at all times. Same thing, this cover here also, I'm gonna turn upside down and you got, you got a guide on one side and a guide on the other and that helps keep that belt on the pulley. So make sure that the belt is around the pulley correctly. Then you put the covers on, bolts through. You don't have to crank these things down too tight. If you crank them, if you crank them too tight, you can actually break the plastic. So you just want them snugged up on the plastic. Now that's pretty much it as far as putting this belt on, and that's uh, pretty much you know how to take off the deck because we just took it off, and uh, you just slide it back in. Make sure that these guys here are actually forward. A lot of guys I've seen actually leave these in the out position, and when you put them underneath the mower, then they have to take the mower deck back out and flip these over to the in position because these are the hangers for the inside of your machine. If everybody, if everybody liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.